reels. Good morning, good morning. It's Saturday, it's been a hot little minute. Every now and then, you know, this adult life be adult life and, uh, but neither here nor there. Anyway, it's Saturday. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're about to get up. Of course, there's some releases that drop today, um, but I actually have a, a pickup that's intentional. Um, we definitely will look at some of the releases for today that that's within our view of course and um but yeah so one of my nephews is growing on up and um he's starting to know what he like and what he want right when they babies and they you know one two three four five six he's about to turn seven and he's talking about he wants some Steph Curry's. Now, naturally, I talked him out of the Steph Curry's. Um, so, we're gonna go ahead and grab a pair of Kobe's that's accessible. Um, I know some people are surprised because being a bronze head, you would think I would be trying to get him some bronze. But, um, yeah, just grab him some quick Kobe's and um, this will be one of probably two gifts in totality um, once I get everything situated. But anyway i don't even have what i'm about to put on in terms of my own kicks but since it's been a while um i don't think i showed y'all what i've gotten recently um the book ones i did do an on foot of the book ones um so y'all saw that if you did not it is the last video i did before i went on hiatus um if you saw my last live you saw these, so this is the first New Balance I've purchased in many moons. <laughs> Won't get y'all the years, cause you know, get to dating myself. But yeah, man, the macadamia nut, um, made in the USA, 990 V4s. I just thought these was dope. There's one detail that is not on here that I thought was on here, but they dope. Dope nonetheless. And I think, whoops. Um, right here, I didn't show y'all. I didn't show y'all that I actually did grab the Jackie Robinson Air Max ones. So, these things right here, I showed them to y'all before. I grabbed them in before they launched, but uh, in the last vlog. But I didn't show y'all that I actually got them. These things are so nice, so so nice. But anyway, that's the last thing. Um, so with those three things I mentioned, April went literally as planned. Like April went as planned for me. Um, I did want the Jumpman Jacks, however. <laughs> you know how it goes with Travis Scott so yeah um probably won't probably won't happen probably won't happen but um all right let me figure out what kicks I'm specifically gonna wear to walk out of here and um I'll see y'all in the jeep real quick are any of y'all Mass Effect fans man listen I um I just grabbed this pre-owned, as you can see, for an awesome, awesome price at GameStop. So, if any of y'all ever had an Xbox 360 and that ring of death hit y'all, it hit me twice on my 360. I happened to be playing Mass Effect 2 at the time. This was more than 10 years ago, right? But I never went back to Mass Effect. So now, with this Legendary Edition, it has all three on there, including a DLC. So, looking forward to making time <laughs> to play in this but yeah uh put it in the comment section if you're a mass effect fan for sure all right we in this thing um about to head to the spit out some of y'all have identified what that is by now so when we get there you'll see it man all right man so listen rockstar zero sugar fruit punch my pleasure that's my pleasure <laughs> put it in the comments if you know 
who that quote comes from. That's my pleasure. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, got us a little parking spot. Oh, this is what I decided on for the kicks. You know what I mean? So this is the zoom. If you can see him. And what's crazy is uh, I usually do pretty good with getting that angle. I gotta find another, I'll do it in the store. I can't see because of the daggone sun glare. But yeah, so I just got on the um, all black and white Nike Zoom Rookies. And uh, we're gonna walk on over here and get inside and complete the mission, take a little gander, all of the things. All right. Hey. Hey, hey. Yo. We in this thing. What's the, what's the latest? What's the greatest? Saturday. Man, listen. Yeah, we get it in on Saturday. Heard y'all got some, some cute stuff Success. going Saturdays. on. What's happening? What's happening? What's up? How are you? I actually want to take a little gander at those. Yeah, Bad Bunny Campers. Already right on point. All right. Dead on arrival, baby. At this Bad Bunny Campus. Um, I actually, I like what uh, Adidas does with his particular collab. Um, way more than what Pharrell is doing with that human race right now. Human race is literally just a colorway now. Like it ain't really nothing unique about it, but uh, the sock liner is, sock liner is plush. It's on the inside too, leather like that. Pink inside. Yeah, it's nice, it's dope. It's dope, it's dope. And here we go. I know a lot of y'all trying to get in on them shadow ones, man. OG colorway. Get it, get in close with it. Come on now, get OG. in close with it. Now I know you. I know. OG. I know Fran doing it. I know OG. we got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. These things is uh, they look they look way better to me low than with the high. That's just me though. That's just me. So, did you get, oh, the books, ooh, yeah, with the snake skin on them? Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, them things is crazy. Yeah, them things is nice. They would get ruined immediately, That's but. Right, right? <laughs> you can't, you can't, what, what's the saying, you can't go home with your pen, not her yeah. pen, but. Yeah, I know I love them book ones, so. <laughs> it's one of the latest colorways here, thanks. With the reptilian skin. All right, well, we got the um, Air Max 180s. When the 180s drop? The 23rd. Okay. Yeah, classic, classic colorway. It's perfect for the summer. Perfect timing. Hopefully Nike will. Uh, hopefully Nike will do some things with these. A little bit more. We need a few. We need a few of these this year. Low key. And so here a little bit, got that global guy, 180, yeah, these is nice. All right, so for the, uh, for the light skin Don, um, Drake's, there's OVO, uh, Nocta, Big Step, Hot Step. <laughs> See, that's what the light skin folks say, ain't it? That's the, that's the light skin uh, determination. <laughs> So, <laughs> this thing, this thing came out probably at the worst time possible. Um, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's generally speaking clean, but uh, first off, I never liked the shoe, but now it's like, buddy, sit down for a while. Sit down for a while, buddy, sit down for a while. And look at it, it's all, it's, I can get my face out of here. Look, it's all shiny, shiny. Perfect for a light skin, ain't it? It's perfect for a light skin. <laughs> this is the not the high step, big step, whatever. You think you funny? Fran, you think you funny? You put this song on just now? <laughs> y'all hear this? Do y'all hear this? Do y'all hear this? <laughs> you can tell what side they done chose over here, man. You can tell. I'm just playing. 
but yeah, I'm letting them kind of finish up with a customer. And I'm sweating because I think I got one too many layers on, so y'all, excuse me. Um, trying to see if there's anything on the wall that I haven't showed y'all, because again, I, um, you know, I know it's been a couple of weeks. I know it's been a couple of weeks, so. Um, I may also, too, after I grab these Kobe's, I may also, at some point, if they do have a size, get a pair of, uh, get a pair of a 3.5 bread fours. They might have them. This hoodie and this jacket got me burning up. Oh, I said I was gonna show y'all, show y'all my own foot the right way when I can see them. So, <laughs> make sure my, make sure I give y'all the aesthetic. All right, all right, so got the Nike Zoom rookies, you know what I mean? All black with the white penny, white swoosh on the toe. So, one of the best hybrids in the early 2010s. One of the best hybrids of anybody's um, assortment of signatures, man. For sure, for sure, so. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get to the car. Talk about it, talk about it. We secured the bag, baby. Secured the bag, baby. So, my clumsy self. Y'all ignore my car. I, I never wash my car, but anyway. It's, it's always a rare, um, occasion anyway so my behind scraped up against a barricade um, to, that comes to the entrance of the uh, of the gym because they working on the garage or whatever and so you got to kind of turn a little bit wide when you go into the entrance my behind scrubbed all up against that thing <laughs> this past week <laughs> so I'm a little upset about that but um Anyway, the good thing though is that I kind of need a, a paint job anyway because I had some other scratches and stuff on this thing that I'm not that fond of. I have no clue where the scratches came from. Uh, I do park on the street every day, so that has a lot to do with it, but nonetheless, definitely got to get a paint job. All right, let me hop in this car. Hop in the car. <sighs> Ooh, let me tell you. Look, I was sweating so bad up in there. They had to hand me a paper towel. I don't know what. What was going on? The heat. These layers of clothing. Woo! For those of y'all in Texas, they got 90 degree weather. It ain't that here. It's only. Whew. It's only 61 degrees and like what the heck why am I sweating like a sleigh What's crazy is I'm always cold So I'm like the least person to get to sweating Anyway Oh dang I put the bag in the back before I show y'all Let me take a take a squeak <laughs> Um So like I told y'all, my nephew was starting to know <laughs> the spit out. My nephew was starting to know kind of what he wants, especially now that he's a basketball player. So he's starting to, or he's taking it seriously, right? And he is starting to kind of notice the shoes, so to speak. So, um, yeah, man, I had to go ahead and grab him a pair of Kobe's that's accessible. You know what I mean? 3.5 he growing on up one of multiple nephews by the way one of multiple but this one right here he the hooper he the one with the social life he the one I buy the most shoes for because he's he does everything all the time so we got these Venice Beach joints from the Mamba Day pack so he's of that age where you know they still love colorful stuff I was skeptical about getting this one because it's colorful and I want him to have a practical pair. So again, I'll probably buy him a second pair that he can actually wear a little bit more often, more functional. Maybe this one he can just hoop in and you know, he'll, he's, he's still going to wear them out to his little birthday parties and stuff like that. But uh, 
that kid got a social life for real like i'm not even playing with y'all anyway i really get my money's worth with him i get my money's worth with him like for real for real so but yeah i got these for him he will love these um i am a thousand percent positive he will not see this video so no worries on that but yeah man this a little joker he wanted curries that was one of the names he had mentioned first and i'm like yuck yuck <laughs> um curries listen one of the greats um definitely a top 10 um player right of all time for sure like no no debate on that but no his shoes are terrible his shoes are terrible i can't have my nephew walking around with curries on we can't do that we can't do that and also if you start walking around with curries on he gonna start to think he curry and anybody that knows me and my basketball takes i've never was a fan of all that jacking up three stuff right there um, the only reason that Curry and, and Clay Thompson and those guys were able to to play the way they played was because the shots was going in. But those were the lowest percentage shots you could possibly take throughout their careers. Um, but yeah, you, if you're gonna do it, you gotta be efficient. So he was, and he still is, and uh, yeah. But unfortunately, all of these kids think that that's an appropriate way to play the game, and it is not. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. In fact. It's ruining the game so much, these kids don't even know that they need other fundamentals. Like, they need to know how to do other things. You know, post up, box out. Um, you need to be able to cut into the paint, right? Do you know how to even, do you know how to two-step into a right and left basic layup? Like, <laughs> hell, I would rather you learn how to do a floater every single, uh, every single possession than to shoot a logo three. Like, I just, I hate it. I hate that style of play. So, everybody's super hyped about the rise of Anthony Edwards. And, um, like, he he been this legit, like, throughout his, his couple of years in the league or whatever. Um, he definitely, the difference, and I, I talked to everybody about this, the difference between then and now. So, I think, what is this, his fourth year? Third, fourth year, whatever. Um, difference between then and now is just, he actually knows that, he can stand against these greats that are still active in the league so um i'm excited to watch him but y'all better not forget i keep on telling y'all yes ant-man is in the running to be the face of the league but y'all better not forget ja man ja morant yes he has some self-inflicted things that happen but the most significant thing is the, the have been the injuries. He has had some season-ending injuries, but he gets stronger, gain a maybe a slight bit of weight to get some some durability, get some mass on it on the meat, on the, on his bones, you know. And um, you know, as long as he can stay durable, listen. How quickly they forget! How quickly they forget! Just mark mark my words. And we have so much young talent in the league. I'd be happy to be wrong. So trust me, even though I'm super confident that Ja is still in that conversation and y'all just forget because you're so in the moment. Everything is microwave, what somebody is doing right now in this moment. Just like thinking Minnesota was going to sweep the Nuggets and y'all forget who Joker is. He's him. And y'all never even knew Jamal Murray until this season because he was injured. He had season ending, ending injuries for like a year and a half prior to them winning the championship last year. Like, y'all forget. Y'all two in the moment. Y'all got to remember, like, this dude's already established and out here getting it. Getting to it. Y'all just, y'all just trying to chase the next MJ. That's the problem. Y'all trying to chase the next MJ because otherwise y'all wouldn't even be um putting ant-man ahead of all of these other guys ahead of the jokers ahead of the lucas ahead of the jason tatums you know what i'm saying um what's my minute ahead of the donovan mitchells ahead of the um well dame lillard is one of the the older young vets um he's one of the older young vets he's kind of in that jimmy butler older younger young vets they're early 30 guys so those guys, we got to kind of push out of the picture a little bit. 
and start thinking that you can't even put Anthony Davis in the conversation anymore because I think he's in his 30s now too so whoo time goes by but yeah so we we got a lot of young talent um Tyrese Halliburton like come on now it's it's a lot of kids out here that are um that on the way up I just want us to calm down and let the playoffs and 82 games determine who's who in this league. Y'all be letting a little 20 point um, blowout game make y'all think that all of a sudden such and such is the GOAT. Yeah, let me go get my blueberry muffin because my stomach about to start talking. That's another reason why I'm drinking this rock star because something to tie me over and keep me, you know what, uh, keep me on beat. Well, I'm out on the street till I can eat bars. All right, let me get over here. That's my pleasure. <laughs> y'all hit the comment yet or what? Listen, if y'all got your Jewel Osco or uh, um, or Albertsons, they are under the same umbrella, just different banners. Go into the bakery, grab you a blueberry muffin. Let me try to, let me try to get up in here. So, you know, you seen one blueberry muffin, you seen them all. But let me show you. They got the little. Uh, they got the little. They got the little crispy crunchities on top, just a little bit, you know. And it's a decent size, right? So you still feel like you got you a nice little, nice little situation. Get you a nice little uh, breakfast dessert, so to speak. So my head is with a little protein shake. And um, yeah, that's gonna be my little sweet, sweet for today, huh? All right, y'all, listen, mission accomplished. It's Saturday. Y'all let me know um, if y'all made any pickups for today. Um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I personally don't have anything specific for me that I want. I did try to grab that red swoosh jump man jack yesterday. Um, was unsuccessful. Um, just like a lot of other people. <laughs> at least they did a raffle. I don't know in terms of the TravisScott.com um site. At least they did a raffle. I don't know if that made any difference. Um, but yeah, I didn't get them. Um, I know those J Belvin threes. I thought there was a May date on those. Um, those are pretty decent, and that's coming from again somebody who's not a Jordan head. So, but anyway, listen, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get y'all some more vids coming up after this one. Um, multiple, we're gonna try to get y'all some more earlies. I do have a topic I, I want to discuss in terms of, um, in terms of uh signature sneakers kind of you know ranking some of those and um yeah man listen y'all let me know because i have gotten some feedback as it relates to doing more lives y'all let me know if that's something that y'all want to see or are y'all indifferent and i should just tinker with it until we figure out if that's what we want to do over here okay so i think that's probably what it's gonna be but i'm asking y'all so y'all let me know um i know y'all want the vlogs so i definitely gotta pick up the vlogs y'all have made it very clear that the vlogs is what y'all are most engaged with so um try not to go too crazy with just it being all early reviews at the end of the day i started this channel to show sneakers so that's not outside of the vein of why i started it um showing sneakers was a huge portion of it there is one element that i have not yet started to do more of that i did i was doing early on but then i like completely stopped it was the gaming piece too so i have no clue how i want to eventually implement that it's so many pieces that go into um gaming streaming okay um that i don't want to do it and it just be you know and it, it didn't be so par like I, I wanted to be like a whole setup and, and it and it looks right so that piece right there i'm still gonna give it the time that it needs because i don't want to jump in and i also don't know like 
what style of games I would want to, to stream because I'm definitely not doing first person shooter. I can tell y'all that for a fact. I'm not even a first person shooter gamer. Like I'm a RPG action adventure gamer. Um, I know there's a lot of gamers that um, they get a lot of engagement with like horror games, but a lot of those are PC and I don't really do horror games. So <laughs> also if I'm gonna do it, I need people to be watching them. So I'm not, I had to figure out if if the genre that I'm most interested in is even is even um, of interest to a, a large enough group. So anyway, I've been thinking, I've been reflecting, trying to figure out what what works and, and how we want to continue forward um, in terms of the content. You know, not only for years to come but most more specifically this year you know how do we want to we almost halfway through this year how do we want to finish out the year do we want to do a lot of a lot more of what we've already done or do we want to mix it up just a slight bit in terms of the assortment between lives earlies obviously my pickups um vlogs you know you know those are I'm, I'm listing those because those are the things that we can do like with a quicker turnaround right so Anyway, yeah, hit me in the comment section. Let me know y'all interests. Let me know what y'all picking up this weekend or in May in general. And uh, until next time, baby, I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>